Welcome, Pat. Thank you so much for joining us today, and congratulations once again on being named a Top 25 Leading Women Entrepreneur. Uh, Pat, can you tell us a little bit about your background and your company and the mission of your firm? Uh, started the Atlantic Club in 1981, and I, I was very fortunate because I had no business experience. Um, and the industry was just beginning to come together. The racket sports industry had merged with what was just beginning to be a fitness wave. And so having no preconceived ideas about how things should be done, I was able to grow with the industry and, and not have any baggage about how we used to do it or just follow my instincts and surround myself with uh, very uh, bright people who complemented my strengths and uh, the rest was history. Wow. Uh, a few years back, I realized that in order to sustain the level of service and, and uh, professionalism at our spas and salons, that we needed to grow our own. So I created an associate program. And to this date, we've graduated uh, 14 girls who are now women, who now most are married and are part of our team there that build our salon and spas in both locations. So there's a learning environment, there's a coaching environment, and there's a mentoring environment there. And I see our roles as the leaders there to be one of great responsibility. Because how we show up every day matters to these young women. They are really like sponges learning yeah. and and doing and so forth. I will tell you that I wasn't the most self-confident about going into business. That wasn't my background. Uh, but the experience of being in business uh, grew on me. And But how I, however, I still had this uh, story in my head that I was a businesswoman and being in a male-dominated industry at that time. And then there were the men. And in actuality, I was having a conversation with the mayor of Red Bank. And to this day, he just doesn't understand what the conversation meant to me, but I'll say it again. I was relating a story and I was asking him to do something for us uh, to have some uh, legislation passed. And I said, you know, I use the term, I'm a businesswoman. And he said, well, what are you talking about? He said, you know, I've never thought of you as a businesswoman, I've always thought of you as a savvy business person. So when you say that the world is created in language, the distinction between businesswoman, not making it wrong, to business person, for whatever reason, in my listening, made a difference. And it had me show up much differently. Somebody who I really admire is uh, Frances Hesselbein, who is, uh, was the founder of Hesselbein uh, Institute, an offspring of Peter Drucker. And Francis says at the age of 93 and still going strong, that you can't define leadership, that it's something that comes from inside. You can make a choice to be a leader and you can develop yourself as a leader, but there are no really born leaders. So I, I, I follow that when I look at also the people that work for me. So inside of me, there has always been uh, a, a drive to do the best that I could and to take things on passionately and to bring others along with me. Right. <laughs> Which really speaks to how I grew the company. Hi, my name is Linda Welbrock and I am the founder of the Leading Women Entrepreneurs Initiative. Congratulations once again to the top 25 Leading Women Entrepreneurs. This initiative has been incredibly exciting and inspiring. The list of finalists are made up of 150 women. Their estimated combined revenue generation is over $1 billion. They are employing over 10,000 people and they are supporting over 1,800 nonprofits. The impact that these women have had on our state and local communities is absolutely outstanding. The criteria that the women entrepreneurs were judged on include innovation, market potential, advocacy for women, and community involvement. 
It is my mission to raise awareness for these outstanding leaders and present them as role models to future women entrepreneurs and to the future generation of young girls who are looking for options for their own careers. I believe if we work together and use the power of the media to present these women as icons and as role models, that we can make a cultural shift in today's society. We are opening the nomination process for 2013. If you know a leading women entrepreneur in your community, you can send the nominations to me at Linda at Leading Women Entrepreneurs or visit my website for further details. Again, I look forward to seeing you and meeting you in 2013.